All right, so first up, we're gonna go over the pattern itself. This is commonly known as alpenflage. And the most obvious thing that you see here is the red. People think, oh, why would you put red on camouflage? Like, doesn't that stand out? Well, I mean, it's like a nice crispy brown color. Anyway, we're gonna test this out and see how effective it actually is. We're just gonna look at the main colors here. So we got the most obvious is this red right here. It matches a lot of dead foliage like in the fall time, which is very effective, but at close up, it looks kind of goofy. And then there's little overlays of dark red here coming through the black part of the pattern where it meets up. Then we got the green which matches with live, all pretty much all live foliage. We have beige, so the black, and then there is the little kind of white speckles. They're not necessarily white, they kind of have a blue, a little bit of a blue uh, color to them. Alrighty, so here we have the M70 jacket, the Swiss M70 jacket, and this here is the M 1918-40 Swiss helmet along with the proper Alpenflage cover um, A lot of guys put the newer M71 covers on these you could even see it in some of the uh, old military pictures because they some of them still use this particular helmet but they decided to put on that other cover which is not not proper this this specific cover was made for this helmet but that's all I have I don't have any of the other uniform parts. I don't have the the pants. As you can see, these are just normal military green, uh, but they're the closest thing that I have. So I'll just go over the jacket really quick and I'm going to go hide and you got to try to find me. The main rifle that was used at the time was the Sturmgewehr 57, not the K31 that I'm wearing. But that's the closest thing I have. So these would be the mag pouches for that STGW57. These are the mag pouches. You would put the magazines in here. We have a whole bunch of other pockets. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, but you could check out videos by Uniform History. I'll post the links down in the description. He does a much better job at explaining all the different pockets and if you want to go into detail. If you're interested in this kind of thing. And if you're not interested, why are you watching this video? Anyway, so this belt too, I don't know if this is accurate, uh, I doubt it. This was like from a more decorative Swiss officer uniform. So the belt's not accurate either. The helmet, I would, I would assume is accurate because these were used around the same time as this specific jacket, but they were uh, replaced by the M1971 helmets. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go hide out in the woods and you gotta try to find me. Let's see how effective this stuff is. Okay, so the first test is gonna be with this M1971 helmet cover. It's the exact same pattern as the jacket I just showed you. So here I just pulled up some foliage. So we got different colors here. We got red, the maple leaf. Oh, so this matches perfectly with the red on the camouflage, as you can see. It's like pretty much the exact same color. Okay, we got there's some yellow in here. So brown, brown is probably the main color of all the dead leaves. So as you can see, this cover is already blending in quite nicely. Like it kind of matches with the leaves. Eh, not so much, but we'll, we'll test it up further away. So I'm gonna go put it in some. Uh, this is a good area. So there it is, zoom out. And there you go, so you can see 
when we move far enough away, it is completely blended in. Like you could barely see that. So you could see it, and now you can't. It's perfect. It's great for this area. Even though the majority of the leaves are still green, it works really good on the ground. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? I can't find it. There it is. Another thing I want to point out is the hood on this. So this hood actually has a camouflage veil on it. Ugh, if I can pull it out. So here's the hood. It's very big so it could be worn over top of the helmet. Like this. And it has the veil which is buttoned up. So I'll take that down. And I can put this over my face so you can't see my face standing out amongst foliage. So check that out. Now you can't see me. I don't know how it attaches. I guess there's some way to attach it properly. But, but yeah, that hides my face. So this will be pretty effective. Let's see my hands stand out like crazy. So yeah, let's put this to the test. Okay, so that was my test of the Swiss Alpenflage. As you can see, it was much more effective from further distances. And the dark shadows kind of stood out a little bit. But other than that, I, I think it's very effective. Uh, especially here in the temperate woodlands of North America. Because this camouflage is made for Switzerland. It's more of a, a mixture of pine and you know this temperate woodlands but it works great here in uh in north america as well so anyway thanks for watching i'm probably gonna do some shooting now with my k31 if you want to watch that you can check out the video once i have it done make sure to subscribe to my channel so you could keep up to date with that otherwise you're not gonna see it no, i'm just kidding up or something. Alright, thanks for watching.